All right, we just added some whipped cream cheese. Super important to get the whip style. Next up, I'm gonna add some cool whip. Now this whip is so yum yum. It's just so good. Look at that, y'all. And we wanna do four hops. Five hops this time. Mm. Wow. Now this is going to really make a wonderful mixture. Alright. A simple, I believe what, four, five, six ingredient, no bake. That's very off. You really want to actually mix it up first so it helps this electronic device look at that look at that you guys Wow. Look at that. It's blending. No, I don't really like all the big mixers because it makes a mess. This is a handheld that uh, you could get at Amazon for about $15. And this is something that's quiet. So if you want to start the party early and not cooking all day so you can actually enjoy um, being with your guests, you could go ahead and make this in the morning without waking up the crowd, without the distractions from the kids, because we all know, y'all, it could be a lot sometimes. So yeah, we're just going to really blend this. It really comes all together. Mmm. If the substance was a little thicker, it um, would obviously blend so much faster. But the good thing about this is you can mix it too with your own hand. Mm. Perfect. Just like that. All right. Now we're going to swap because the mixture is done. Now I have my graham cracker mini pie crust. Now these are super affordable. Place these all right here. I got this on Albertsons and these were going I believe two dollars. Normally they're like two fifty but you know sometimes just sometimes the Lord blesses me. All right, we're going to use one dozen. These come in packs of six. So I had to go and purchase two. Um, sometimes the Lord definitely does bless me with the sale. And the Lord knows. Whew. This child right here loves a sale. Coupons, everything. I love all of that. All right. Again, this is going to be a no-bake dessert. So that's why I'm saying you could do it well early in the morning while the kids are asleep. Then you could set up for the party. All right, so we're gonna do one filling right here. Two. Nice little layers. Now, if you want them a little bit bigger, you could go ahead and do two scoops. But I want them to be right and perfect so they're not overflowing. Really settle down into that pie crust. 
because we are also going to let this also really firm up because I'm a firm believer that if you just let things sit and let God do its work his work some that some, some the outcome will always be better than us rushing all right so I like to give it a little shake just so they really pack down. We're going to put this in the refrigerator for um, about an hour so it really firms. And we're going to add some really, really cool toppings to it, y'all. And I just can't wait to show you. Um, again, this is no big dessert, so stick with me because you guys can also do different flavors. There's lime, there's keel, um, um, lemon, there's not just... Um, the orange and you know what sometimes if you're mixing like um drinks they have those pre-mixers that have no alcohol it's just the syrup there's also sh um, strawberry so you could do this a lot of ways but right now we're going to do orange one hour in the refrigerator can't wait to show you what we're going to top it with all right you guys look at these little mini pies they absolutely look so delicious now we can't have a little bit of pie if we don't have a little bit of whipped cream, okay? <laughs> okay, baby. Now, whipped cream. Oh, let's get this going. Reminds me of my Dutch Bro days. My God, people are so anal about their whipped cream needing to be on properly. Let me know in the comments when you go to get coffee. Are you really anal about your whipped cream too? But right now we're focusing on these delicious, ooh, these delicious desserts. You can't tell me that doesn't look cute, y'all. That looks so cute. And then we're going to zest it with a little bit of orange peel. Just for a little bit of finishing touches. All right. Let's get into it. Just look how cute this is, you guys. Give it one last little jump the entire thing. Oh, this looks so good. All right, you guys. Set that to the side. Clean my surroundings. Just get a look at that, you guys. Look how intricate. Uh, which one should I go for? I feel like I'll go for this one right here because it's, like, just so pretty. The whipped cream. Everything that orange zest. Let's just go for it. Mm. Mm. Wow. These are really good. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really an orange fan, but I was, I was trying the recipe out and I like it. A lot, actually. Wow. Now, you could definitely make this with different flavors. You could go ahead and use the, the lime, the lemon, or you could use the um, frozen margarita mixes, which sometimes they have strawberry. I was debating if I was going to do strawberry. Um, but this just looks so cute. This is good. Um, I made a dozen, so you could take it to like your guys' is. Um, work potluck, church potluck, anything really. And honestly, I, even the kids will like this. It's not making a really big pie. It's individual. I know how sometimes if someone could take a slice and waste it. This is cute, petite, small. Just enough for someone to get a little taste and on to the next dessert. But let me tell you, if you make this dessert, this will be the main dessert that they all talk about. Go ahead and make it for your grandbabies and your loved ones, y'all.